Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Uh, we've got some changes to our weather here, and it's actually very nice here. Yes, wonderful, beautiful weather here compared to what they saw in Florida, although today was a beautiful day as they started their cleanup. Uh, one of the things we've seen here and even down in Florida, I've seen reports as far south as even San Antonio, Texas, the northern lights. This is uh, from David Graves and they're looking at Lake Purdy. You can see some of the colors there off in the distance and maybe you can see some as well from your backyard. Uh, just go outside, get away from all kind of lights and if you have a phone, kind of set it to a three second exposure. Usually the pictures you can see better than you can with your naked eye. So check Check that out again. It could be as far south there, San Antonio, Houston, there, northern Florida. Obviously, it does include our area. And yes, the farther north you go, the better they'll be. But I've seen a lot of pictures showing up here on social media this evening. Our weather is pretty quiet, pretty clear out there. You can see Milton uh, now a kind of an extra tropical system as it's merged with the front is now sitting uh, well off the east coast of the United States. And we're just dealing with some northerly winds here, keeping things pretty quiet. Outside of Milton, we still have Leslie out there in the tropics and an Invest 94 that could try to develop into something, but fortunately no threat to the United States with any of these systems. Looking pretty good out there right now and planning ahead. We are talking about sunny and warm weather as we head toward the weekend. We will see some cool, comfortable nights ahead as well, too. Right now it's still pretty comfortable. 62 from here to Alabaster. 55 right now. Jasper Coleman area. 57 Anniston. Same for you down in Alexander City as temperatures are looking pretty nice. But tomorrow morning will be chilly in spots. How about 48 degrees from Gadsden, Asheville area, Talladega, back to Coleman and Jasper. So want that jacket as the kids head to school tomorrow. Those that aren't on fall break 52 here in town 54 for low in Tuscaloosa and then tomorrow after a cool morning. We'll see plentiful sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures warm up to only about 80 degrees about what there should be this time of year. Football Friday for the high school kids tomorrow. Yeah, nice weather expected 69 degrees to kick off. How about dropping to 59 by 11 o'clock when most of those games are wrapped up, but we do warm up for the weekend. We'll start chilly on Saturday, but then warming back up to 83 and 85 degrees there. Nice and toasty for us, but we do have some changes in the wind. Uh, not for the Alabama game. 11 a.m. kickoff a little early against South Carolina. 73 degrees warming up to 81 by the end of the game. But with all that sunshine, don't forget your sunscreen. Next week, though, we're starting to see some chilly air coming in. The first big, strong cold front coming down our way. No rain with it. We'll see some cool air coming in for Tuesday morning and then Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. That's when some of the chilliest air will be here. We're we're talking 40s, some 30s in North Alabama, and definitely 30s as you head up toward the Nashville area. So watch how temperatures will continue to drop here as we go forward throughout the day on Sunday, Monday 79. There you see highs only in the 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday. And you think that's comfortable and cool. Wait to see the low temperatures. How about 49 Tuesday morning, 43 and 44 the lows for Wednesday and Thursday morning. Some of you could be in the upper 30s, believe it or not, on those days. So get ready for some big changes as we head.